Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new review video. Today we'll be talking about the PlayStation 4 controller, also known as the DualShock 4. The PlayStation controller has always had flack about it from the 363 controller or the Xbox controller. The Xbox controller was not great, but it was better than the DualShock, but the 360 controller which we have unfortunately a wired version right over here let's take that out yeah yeah this is the one the 360 version i believe just look at it it, it is beautiful this controller is beautiful it fits really well in your arms and in your hands rather and it feels really sturdy as well and it it's a wired one but still i use it for my pc and i still use it for my pc it feels really great this is the best controller i have ever played with until let me just rectify that statement until I got my hands around this baby, the DualShock 4. I believe DualShock 4 is a better controller than 360. That's right, I'm gonna face a lot of flack for this as well, but I believe it does a great, great job of really, really giving you all the controls that you need in a really, really good, snug fit. It fits better than the 360 that's my honest opinion but it's for my hands it's not for everybody I don't know what other people have to say about it I would like to hear about it in the comments section but that's my honest opinion so having talked about the good fit that the PlayStation 4 uh, DualShock 4 controller offers let's have a look at actually how this particular controller is laid out as you can see the stubs over here are much more rounded you remember the shape which was really really straight but as you can see there are curves on this now and what these curves do is they give you a lot of grip in your palm it they fit really well in your palm and that's how I hold my controller so it fits really well in my palm and that is something that gives you an advantage when you're holding this controller Another thing that I really really liked about it is the back panel has this texture I don't know whether the camera will pick it up But there's this texture which is really granular texture that is throughout the back panel throughout They have not spared any inch uh, on the back panel It is throughout and it feels really really it's not smooth so it feels really grippy it offers a lot of grip and that is important because when you hold the controller your hands usually are gripping it like this or like this or something like this even and you want that grip because you're doing a lot of stuff here then this grip really really feels sturdy in your hands and it gives you a lot of grip that means that you are holding the controller even more firmly thanks to that grip so I really liked this beautiful uh, pattern that is there which is offering a lot of uh, a lot of grip to me now as you might have noticed as I turned it around there's this big 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 lamp kind of thing over here there's light and when you press the PlayStation button it starts to give out some kind of signal to its alien technology well this is uh, something that it uses to communicate with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 camera I don't have the PS4 camera so I cannot show you what cool things this particular light can help us achieve in the PlayStation playroom but still it has some sort of function when you're gaming actually it does not matter because you cannot see it so it's way over here so you're not gonna see it anyway so it's, it's something that it's not gonna matter well the major change that you can see immediately in this particular controller is the trackpad functionality which they have added I believe this is going to be fantastic it's a clickable trackpad so you can click on it as well uh, right now I think Killzone is taking good advantage with uh, having shortcut commands uh, based on swipes and all kinds of things so this trackpad is going to be a really important thing in the future because future games uh, really can take good advantage of having a trackpad right onto your controller and it's not hard to reach as you can see when you're playing you have your buttons over here and your uh, analog sticks over here but you have this trackpad here which is fairly easily reachable I believe you can reach it fairly easily as you can see you can reach it easily yeah that's that's simple the m most biggest change after the trackpad is the share button that you get right over here I don't know whether the camera will be able to pick up what is written but I think it, uh, yeah I guess you can see it is a little blurred out because of the focus but you can see there's a share button right over there and what you can do with the share button is just click on it whenever you're playing and there is a functionality where the PlayStation is auto recording whatever you're doing whatever you're playing 
and your gameplay can, you can share uh, instantly on the internet on Facebook or even using Twitch or Ustream so that's a really cool functionality that they have inbuilt into the into the controller itself I don't like the position of it I mean it's a little off-putting because the options button and the share button are really awkwardly positioned I would have preferred to have them somewhere here or I don't know somewhere else not here it's a little odd it looks odd as well but still it's a great functionality to have and the other button that I talked about is the options button it has a multi-purpose button I say it's a start stop and whatever it's the options button it's the go to key like the Xbox button okay so as you can see the the ergonomics of it is really well the grip that it provides is really good as you can see the shape is also really good and the we have talked about this these buttons as well with the trackpad now let's get on to the stuff you're going to be using the most the analog sticks and these buttons well number one i have to say it's a huge huge upgrade from the DualShock 3 because these buttons really feel solid they feel solid they feel firm and they have a really good give I mean they're not hard to push but they really resist really really well so it's a good press and these are gonna be used a lot especially the X button X button is gonna be abused a lot so it's really good that it they've made it really really solid it does not feel cheap or anything like that now let's talk about this these analog sticks the only complaint that I that's not a complaint it's something that all PlayStation users will be facing after using an Xbox 360 controller is the position of the left analog or rather the right analog stick if either way as you can see just let me just get this 360 controller over here you see this feels better for me this left analog being here and the right analog being here feels better for me this is a good combination to have my left analog because my left thumb is going to be using this a lot not as much as my right thumb because these buttons are here so you when you're playing games it might get a little, little off-putting when you have to do when you have to do this because when you're playing games like a third person shooter or something your movement is going to be this all your movement is going to be this so it people who have already used uh, the 360 controller might find it if the left analog stick is placed over here because this feels more natural than this but it's it's a real little quirk i would say it's not something huge but i believe something uh, should i mean something that really can bother some people so i'm glad i got it out of my system now let's talk about the triggers themselves as you can see the triggers are really they have a concave uh, kind of shape now they're no longer the the button which was going to the trigger which was going to slip it's not going to slip anymore because it has a really beautiful curve to it which really gives you a nice good curvature to hold on to and as you can see the pressing the resistance is really good the resistance is not extremely bad it, is, it provides good resistance and it feels solid as well the up triggers that l1 and l2 are l1 and r1 sorry buttons are also good they're a little flexible as you can see they move around when you just tap on them like this they move around which tells me that they have been uh, fitted like this because they're gonna be abused as well like the X button so this helps it uh, in a way that it provides good support and the give is also good and that's why I believe the triggers are really really well uh, well shaped as well and I like the fact that they're not very long they're really short so the movement that you need for your for your finger is really really short you don't have to do it right over here you can do it in a very straight angle so it me feels much more comfortable doing it like that so I believe they have made a huge improvement from the DualShock 3 the DualShock 4 is a hundred hundred percent uh, I would say growth in the right direction for the PlayStation people and the PlayStation console itself so I believe that the PlayStation has gone in the right direction when they have made this particular uh, DualShock 4 controller. The only thing that I have left out is this little speaker over here because quite frankly I did not find it too useful as of now but I believe it's okay. I believe it's, it's going to be helpful in the future. It might add to the gaming experience but right now I don't feel it's helping me out that much. And the standard mic, the, the good thing about PlayStation people 
Colorado Sony is that they have given us a 3.5 mm jack, uh, 3.5 mm outlet rather for the for the headphones. So you can plug in any kind of headphones. The micro USB is for charging, and I believe this is the uh, this is all there is to be talked about about the DualShock 4. And I hope you liked what I had to say about it. And if you did like it, please subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything to add to it or rather correct me. And thank you for watching. Have a great time.